Hi there, everybody. It's Michelle Denman. Well, the Lord is on the move. I just wanted to share this with you because the Lord confirmed his word about media. Just to let you know, God is with us and he's moving. And if he says it, it's going to happen. And this is exciting because it's happening fast. So I shared that prophetic update 2023. You can see that just about two videos before this. And the Lord had shared a prophetic update for the, you know, what, what was given at that moment. He was what he gave me at that moment. And he said that Kings would be coming down and he'd be removing people in media. And that would happen very fast that we'd see a shuffling happening in media very quickly. The reason I wanted to share this with you, it's a sign from the Lord to let you know he is moving. We have to have that vision to see, you know, what is God doing in this hour? And I'll just kind of break this down for you. So when I shared the word about the media, the Lord said, I'm going to bring kings down. I'm going to read you that exact scripture because it's from Daniel 2, 21. And I, there are a couple of versions of the Bible that just say it so profoundly. One of the versions says, he controls the course of world events. He removes kings and he sets up other kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. Another um, translation says he changes times and seasons. He deposes kings and raises up others. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. Now that's Daniel 2.21, but Daniel 2.22 says he reveals the deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. I cannot tell you how significant both of these verses are and in specifically in connection. I'll, I'll explain the connection now because it's amazing how God is putting all of the pieces together. So here's what it was about. So when I shared the word about media, during that moment, the Lord gave me a vision of Amy Robach, this woman on the right. She's a very well-known, um, been in the business a long time as a, an anchor news reporter. I had a vision of her. So that was significant because the Lord knew this was coming. And I saw her in the spirit. Now, let me tell you why this is significant. So it was announced on Friday, January 13th. Now, the Lord said things were going to happen fast. So he deposes kings. So he brought this down. So they are out at Good Morning America. So they, the reason why this is so significant, I'll explain it to you. So they, ah, this is so much, there's so much connected to this. So there is an issue of immorality that happened between these two. Both of them are married and there was a scandal, an affair that happened and it came out. Now, what's interesting is while this was happening the lord had said to me he, he he brought my attention to it and he said they're gonna try to spin this and even almost use this as a way to kind of like bolster the ratings i know that because people are into why because people are into drama and people people like drama and all those things right so the lord said they're gonna try to use this and i was and i went "Ooh, this is awful because i had this sense of oh they want to um use the scandal and then they, they do a lot of these things with media you know using things to try to get ratings things like that well it's this is why this is so significant is the fact that the they remove them so as of friday they've been removed uh, 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 we're not fighting flesh and blood so what did the lord say as well in the prophetic word about jezebel so what is behind any of these scandals what is behind this is always a spirit of jezebel the fact that th this is so, I can, I can feel the Holy Spirit as I'm sharing this with you. The fact that the Lord said that, and then they're out, because that re represents, again, we're not fighting flesh and blood, is significant for all of us in the world. It is very significant because the Lord had said, this is the time of the spirit and power of Elijah, the anointing of Jehu. And what that means is, is the counteracting okay so the only way because it's not in, we're not fighting flesh the only way is an antidote in the spirit of power of elijah and that is what is bringing down that principality so here's i'm seeing this as i'm getting a vision as clear as day as this of this because what that spirit is behind it's a behind immorality it's behind all of the 
issues going on in the world around sexuality. It's going around where Jezebel makes women men and men women. We have seen the emasculating of men. We have seen women be more like men. All of that is Jezebel. So this is huge, you guys. This is just the beginning. And I'm getting a vision of a chessboard and the chess pieces. And that word I'm getting a vision is of the word Tim Sheets gave about an avalanche. And, and an avalanche, this is all connected to that principality coming down. This is all connected to this. And so why it's significant is the Lord said women in media, and he said when Barbara Walters passed away, and then there were going to be this changeover in media. So this is just the beginning. And I'm getting another vision of that balance scale. So, you know, the um, justice it's the justice. It's the balance scale. And so we are going to see, this is a sign and a wonder from God right now, this very moment of justice. It's because we've been waiting to see justice come on so many things with so many situations. So this is very significant that this was taken down, this particular case, because the Lord had been talking to me about it. And that we will see a trickle now with women in media. What did the Lord say? He was opening up positions. I literally saw this morning, I saw help wanted from the Lord. Like he's saying positions, you know, he, so it's like we work for God, right? We're, we're, we're working for God. We don't work for man. So there is positions right now and the Lord is opening up things of roles. And so this is exciting for what he said, women in media, prophetic voices, this is time to, to speak. Because why why is this also significant? Because what does Jezebel, she silenced the prophets. She silenced the people. She was, um, you know, trying to keep people from the, vo the vo you know, the voice, which is also significant, the voice. Um, that's even significant there. And how she was trying to silence. So this is why the Lord is saying doors are open. Heaven has opened positions have opened. So that means that now your voice, do you have a role? Do you have a, a voice that you want to share? Has the Lord been speaking to you about media or journalism or investigative journalism or just even starting a podcast? Or has the Lord been talking to you about that? It's, it's, it's very significant because the Lord is saying now that that removal of that muzzle is this, this is a beginning now it's going to take a little time because it's, it's a beginning of a process, but the removal of that muzzle that to begin to speak now, because that's why he said the gospel must be preached to the ends of the earth. Preach. What is that? Speak. Gospel. Voice. So this is voice activated. The Lord is showing me this right now. So this is good news. The change is here. As we heard Kent Christmas say in his prophecy that it is shifted from the spiritual. Now, if it has shifted from the spiritual, which I sense that it happened this month, as Kent, Kent prophesied it. If it has shifted, that means now on earth as it is in heaven, that we will now see things. We have to keep our eyes open now in the natural, not just the spiritual, but in the natural. Start to look for what God is showing you in the natural. The other thing he said to me is shift your perspective. Shift your perspective to things are happening for you not against you. So even when you feel like there's warfare or people are falling out of your life or things seem to be wrong, look at it look at it as a blessing rather than a curse that it's happening for you not against you that God is actually moving to set things up. So there's chaos before the promise. There's there's a before the birth there's often a lot of um tumult tumult. I can't say that word. <laughs> there's a lot of things that happen right before the birth. So Think of it as God is working for me, not against me, because he had to, everything that was shaking, you know, he says, everything, I'm going to shake everything that can be shaken, but the shaking is also to align people for the promise, his promises this year and um, the blessing. Um, I'm seeing that generational blessing right now. I'm getting a vision of blessing, I'm blessing, I'm blessing. I'm seeing a vision of that generational blessing. So things are lining up for that. Um, the other, th there's so much I want to share with you. The other thing is I'm also, I'm specifically going to pray for Amy Robach to restore her marriage. I'm going to pray. I feel, I feel she had a very good marriage with a wonderful man and the Lord. I'm going to pray that her marriage gets restored and her family gets restored. <laughs> I see that right now. Um, 
I see that right now in the spirit of power of Elijah. He restores the hearts of the fathers to the children, the children to the fathers. So I pray that her her marriage gets restored. Another thing I thought was interesting, interesting just a headline the Lord showed me, that when um, they were going through this and they even were on the air in December, they were, th this couple, well, these two, they're not, I don't know, they're not really a couple, but I mean, these two right here, they said, we need wisdom. And I thought, isn't that interesting? So the world even knows. Like, so I thought immediately of James 1, 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, ask for wisdom. And that's even another prayer that's very important right now. Let's ask for wisdom and discernment. But that's also significant that they share that um, on one of their broadcasts is what the Lord brought that to my attention, that they were needing wisdom. And of course they do in this situation. But I, I definitely want to pray and and not I'm not I'm not trying to be judgmental about what they've been through I don't know you know their story but I want to pray that there's restoration and that's another promise for this year is a restoration of families I can feel that in the spirit I can feel that in the spirit a rest restoration of families and that if there's a grieving if there truly is a heart cry I feel that from God right now. If there truly is repentance and if there really is a heart cry, then God forgives. And if we come to God just humbly and submit and say, look, I messed up. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking particularly of the situation here of these two, you know, look, I messed up and, um, you know, I got the best of me. And if we truly come with a humble heart to God, then he will restore everything the enemy came after. Because it's the enemy is behind this as well. It's always behind this when there's a, a, a mess up with a marriage. So um, he will restore what the enemy came after and what the em enemy tried to steal and all the years the locust tried to eat. So this is a well, this is another example of restoration, just using this as an example. Now the other thing is when I when I woke up today, the Lord you know, brought all this to my attention. And there's also something significant because when we see, you know, truth is stranger than fiction, you know how, you know, you hear that kind of term. And we've seen a lot of shows like morning news shows, or there it's been like the morning show and there's been different, you know, we've seen a lot of, um, you know, just a lot of drama and I can't even watch those shows, but there's a lot of drama. And then it kind of mirrors and people are even saying that how, you know, life is strange, you know, truth is stranger than fiction. And then that mirroring of that drama. Well, what God is showing me is to change. He needs to bring purity, righteousness, stories of faith, stories of righteousness. So this will be another thing with media is bringing things that, that bring whole wholesomeness and purity and truth and um light and and righteousness and that will be another change we'll see with hollywood and media is to bring goodness to bring um you know morality back and healthy things back and purity back and that's going to be another shift we're going to see he's telling me a sign will be we'll see more uh kingdom enterprises things in the media that have to do with the light of god and 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 truth and and even some of these stories that um we haven't even heard yet is what the lord is saying so that's going to be another sign because it's kind of like because he said there's an ending of a chapter and that was Jezebel, all of that was Jezebel, all of that, you know, um, yuck, you know, that we, that we, that I couldn't even watch any of those movies, you know, and that all of that was Jezebel. And now we're turning a page. The Lord said that chapter is ending. We're moving into kind of a cleaner and pure, um, you know, righteousness being a little bit more popular. So that's going to be a sign as well. He's showing me that right now that a page is turning to bring back righteousness into media. So we're going to see that changeover and then i have a vision of that balance scale so that's what that means is justice that means that justice has come because what is happening is god is judging so that's his judgment you know people are afraid of his judgment but what he's doing is he's judging behind the scenes and it's a spirit that he's you know that's what's happening is a judgment so this is real time right now happening which is very very profound and, and that change now for women in media, to see women voices emerge, to see in media, as Barbara Walters passed away, she was very significant in that world, and begin to see women coming forward now with the truth. I, I'm getting a vision of it very clearly of, he will take down kings. I'm going to read that again because it's so profound. 
He changes times and season. He, he seasons. He deposes kings, raises up others. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. That is um, Daniel 2, 21. Another version says he gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. So that's a beautiful, just a beautiful verse, two, tw Daniel 2, 21. I absolutely, absolutely love that. So he wanted to share that. Then the other thing the Lord wanted me to share is I had a, another vision during the prophetic update. I had a vision of Drew Barrymore. And Drew Barrymore is, she's another one that, again, didn't choose. She was a little girl. She was brought into Hollywood as a little girl because of her family. And she does have an innocence about her. You know, she's been very abused. She was very, she has so much trauma and abuse from her childhood. And she's one that God said she's really hungry. She's searching. Um, she's even been very close to Joanna Gaines. We know Joanna is a born again Christian and Joanna has, you know, that multimedia empire, but, um, Joanna also believes in the Lord and Drew has had a relationship with her. So I think that's not an accident either. So God is really, you know, I really feel that Drew Mary Barrymore is one of the innocent ones. She has a really pure heart. She's very childlike and you know, she, I, I feel the Lord in her life very strongly right now. And it's interesting that she's also in media and she has her own television show, but I, he's been speaking to me about her for a while, but there's something significant about her life that, um, God to help and to help her and, and help her with her trauma. She's been, a, she was very abused as a, as a little girl and, and the Lord sees that and knows that she was brought into Hollywood as a little one. And, and there's always a difference with that because she didn't seek it. If she was born into it, um, Drew Barrymore. So she's one I had a vision of. The other person I had a vision of was Reese, Wither, Reese Witherspoon. Um, she's another one that, um, you know, a very famous actress, but she's, she's very intelligent. She's very smart. And, and she, she's very uh, much operates in her brain because she's very, very intelligent. But I also saw God, she's also seeking. And she's also been one that, again, we don't know each case is individual in terms of anyone we're dealing with. When we're dealing with people that are famous, we can't just, we have to look at everyone as an individual because everyone has a different story. Their life is different that we don't know, um, what God is doing with them and what their heart intent is because God knows that. And he specifically, he, and so that's why I only will speak what God says. It's, I never talk about people unless God has said, this is a person that I'm having you speak about because it's always directed by the Lord because he knows I don't know. So Reese Witherspoon is another one the Lord is working on. Um, she's seeking right now. So when what happens is when he's taking people through a process and when they have a hunger and they're thirsting and they don't even know, they're, they, they're not even maybe aware, then what often happens is, um, he's showing me a vision right now, is what happened is a lot of these people that have had a hunger, they, you know, maybe some of them were raised in the church and, and they were maybe turned off by religion or something like that and they went away from God and that happens all the time. It's very common and they, and they kind of veer off. And um, what he's showing me is that these people that had a hunger, they turned to um, a lot of the new age so that because they didn't know where to turn. So they turned to new age teachings. And what happened, and that's what happened with several of these people, it happened with Drew and they were turning to, whether they knew it or not, some of them didn't even know that that's what they were reading. But there's a, there's a very famous book, the Lord's been speaking to me about this as well. There's a very famous book by a woman who previously was a Christian, and then she went through a lot of hard times in her life. She's currently in a lot of hard times, and she wrote a book, and um, this book was spread far and wide, and what happened, and again, she was in the church and was a Christian, and what happened when this book got in the hands, because a lot of women, you know, read it, and it, the book instilled people to all get divorces. So Kelly Clarkson read the book. She got a divorce. Rachel Hollis, who was, who was another, who was a Christian as well. I don't know if she's, she, I believe she probably still believes in the Lord, but she's also had a scandal. Rachel Hollis read the book. She got a divorce. Adele read the book. She got a divorce. Um, the Lord had me follow all of this. 
and other people have read the book as well and had great fallouts in their life. Now, that's not the Lord. The Lord would not promote that you would read the book and be, in, you know, great, I'm going to get divorced. And because every single one of these people that read this book, their lives went downhill. So that's a sign right there that it wasn't of God because God wants to build up and restore. So what that was, again, it was a spirit behind it. And the woman who wrote the book <clears throat> is, in a, is in a very difficult time. And, I, and again, I... I, I I, again, nothing, I, I feel for her. I feel, I feel she needs healing. And I don't, again, mean this. I just have to expose it because God has been telling me to talk about it. But the book is called Untamed by Glennon Doyle. I feel for her. And again, I don't mean this as any negative. I think she's brilliant. I think she's a beautiful person. Um, but I think out of her fall from her own searching, she put out this. And again, I don't, I think she... I think she was doing what she could. I think she's she's currently been diagnosed with something very specific that now she kind of has an answer to why her life's been what it is. So again, I, I please hear my heart on this. I these are hard things to report on because I, I believe that she, you know, is searching as well. And but she's a she's has like millions and millions of followers. And so we just we don't want to like we want to be careful when we speak about these people. I feel a caution on this. To, I don't want to harm her in any way. I want her to find God again. She needs God. She needs God. But I just, the reason I'm sharing it is because God has asked me to talk about it. I just feel for her. Um, because... What, what happens when people deconstruct their faith? Now, when they do this, this is what the, this is what the, where it becomes really hard on people, for, on, on their followers, is that when people are publicly deconstructing their faith and they're doing it publicly, there's a fallout. And then all of their followers who don't know God directly, they're going to just read her book. And, and then there's a, there's a, you can see how the enemy gets in there. And there's a consequence. God wants us to see what a huge consequence it is because with people, they got divorces. And, and God wants to give us life and life more abundantly. He came to give us life and life more abundantly. And so sadly, these people, they lost their marriages. And, and this, is, this is huge. And again... I know this is individual how the Lord deals with these things, but this is something that had to come to a head. And the reason why is because we don't fight flesh and blood again. We need to see it through that veil of, you know, that lens that we don't fight flesh and blood. But what happens, there are severe consequences when we when we deconstruct from the faith and then we start blabbing, we share that. And, and then people are, you know, it's very serious. So we have to be very careful you know, the Lord takes that very seriously of not misleading people. You know, he talks about misleading the flock. We have to be very careful we don't mislead. We have to be very cautious that we are aligned with the Spirit of God because you can really hurt people. You can really harm people. And that's what's been happening over and over and over is people are getting abused and harmed because they don't know better. And then their people get shipwrecked in their own faith. And that's what happened with these different, you know, the, the Hillsong Church and things like that because people get harmed by it. So these are the things that the Lord is going to clean up now and he's restoring. And I know, again, he works with each person individually. I don't know how he's going to handle these people, but he does it individually. But we need to know that God sees everything. He knows everything that goes on. As so Daniel 2.22 says, he reveals everything hidden in darkness. It's time for these things to come to the light. And when things come to the light, it's kind of like, you know, it's a come to Jesus, you know, it's coming to the light because he's the light and without him, there is no light. So we only have the light of life through him. So these things have to come out and there will be a healing now in the spirit of power of Elijah to heal and restore. We're in the time now where the change has come. I woke up and I heard the change has come, a time to heal and restore. So the other piece in connection with this, and this is why the Lord is bringing this up, is when you see these celebrities, and I know Reese read the book as well. Um, she also had, had that book in her hands, but she did stay married. Um, but when when celebrities, okay, they um, when they're sort of like that kind of fame and the social influence and the millions of followers and all that kind of stuff, 
and then you're seeing that that's what occurred that these certain books they get a lot of traction and so that's why God now is saying these specific people, he's, you know, mentioned Drew Barrymore. I know she read the book as well. Um, and, and then Reese Witherspoon. So God knows their heart. And so we don't want to judge them in their process. We want to be very careful about that as well as let's allow God to heal whatever he's going to do with Drew, whatever he's going to do with Reese. And I'm sure there's going to be others, but whatever God wants to do, let's let God do what he's going to do with them because it's God's, you know, God's will in their life, not ours. And we want to be careful. We just want to be really careful about that. And that's why I'm careful too, because I just, I don't like to share some of these things. It's hard to share because my heart is, 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 is really of love. And I don't, it, it, this is just to highlight it so that people can understand what's been going on. And, it, and then once it's brought to the light, so once the Lord speaks about it and it's brought to the light, then we can we can process it and God can do what he's going to do because he wants to bring it out of the dark. And that's what he's doing today is he's bringing that out so that it can now come to the light. And that's what you, Daniel 2.22 is about. So again, that was a lot, but there's a lot with this. And the reason why, um, the reason why, again, I'm looking for a certain book right now. Let me just see if I have it in front of me because the Lord just reminded me of something here. Let me see if I can find it. Sorry, I, w I didn't have this prepared because I didn't expect to share this. But, um, oh, I don't have it in front of me. Let's see here. Uh, well, I can kind of paraphrase it because I remember. I don't have the book in front of me, but I can paraphrase it. So basically, what we're seeing is now the spirit and power of Elijah. And that is the only antidote we have to have. And it says in, in Malachi 4, 5 to 6, before the great and terrible day of the Lord, I will send the prophet Elijah to restore the hearts of the father, fathers and the, and the fathers to the children. He, it's a restoration. So we have come into now that time. And the only antidote is Elijah and, and the Jehu, it's like the Jehu anointing is the other thing people call in. And that's also, it's in a book by Francis Frangipane. And that's what I was looking for. I don't have it in front of me here. I wish I did, but that's okay. I will share that. Um, I just don't have it in front of me right now. I'm looking for it. I have so many books. I don't know where it is. Um, but that's, it's an incredible, um, you know, about what God is doing right now. And he wants, the whole point now is restoration and healing and help people that have been in trauma, that have been abused themselves, that have been hurt. So we, so again, I just feel from his heart is of mercy, just a care, and we want to be gentle. You know, what does the Bible say? We restore other, we restore people in gentleness. Um, you know, we, Paul says this in the scriptures. We restore them in gentleness, and again, people need healing. They they need to be healed from abuse. They've been abused. They've been misled. You know, and we we come with that heart of care. And not condemning them because they they just need a lot of love right now is what my sense is a lot of love and and in that the kindness of god leads men to repentance they need that love and kindness to kind of be restored and, and healed so this is just the beginning god will confirm more i know because he's so good he always does so this is just the beginning of a changeover the changing of the guards the changing in media as we see this is a very good sign, you guys. This is good news, okay? This is exciting. God is moving, and he's wanting to show you he's moving, and things are things are happening. Um, he removes kings, and he raises others up. So we're seeing the changing of the guard, and we are the change is here, is what I woke up this morning. The change is here. So this is positive, and what that means is that we are having breakthrough. Breakthrough is here. Breakthrough is here good things can can begin to happen because of this breakthrough and it's a lot of um all this hard labor and and, and dealing with the um the warfare but changes here so it's good news keep your hopes up we got it we got to have uh, keep our hopes up and it's good news keep your keep your eyes on on god and things are happening for us not against us and um just peace and goodwill <laughs> and praise the Lord. There's so much to share, but I'm excited because God's on the move. God bless all of you. Take care. Amen this day. Bye-bye.